Hello. Good morning. Okay. So already I taught two lessons and grammar part also over what are the textual grammar. Then I gave the homework, but I think you completed. So today I am going to take direct to indirect speech. Isn't clearly carefully. Okay, ma'am. So direct to indirect. Now I give one example. Teacher said, "I am busy." Teacher said, "I am busy." Here, who is saying teacher? Before the inverted commas, this is known as the reporting speech. This is known as the reporting speech. After the comma, this is known as reported speech. Reported speech. Once, what are the clues you are going to? No, for everything that only but little changes will be there. Teacher said, "I am busy." Whenever the verb is past tense in the reporting speech, when the verb is past tense in the reporting speech, reported speech verb also going to be changed. That is the first clue. Okay, ma. So you said is the past tense. Am is the present tense. And who said? Teacher said. So whenever there is a said again and again, no need to write the said, said, said for all. Okay. With the help of the answer, we can use different words also. Instead of the said, in the place of the said, we can write asked, told. Advised, ordered, inquired, questioned, suggested. For everything we can use, not only said. Here, what will get the meaning? Teacher said. In the place of the said, what can we write? Told. Okay, very good. Teacher told. One more clue is here. So, already I taught you four types of the sentences. Number one is the declarative. Number two, imperative. Number three, interrogative. Number four, exclamatory. We know all. So, what are the clues? Also, I told you when you were in the sixth and seventh also. But here, you have to remember reported speech when you are going to change direct to indirect. You have to observe reported speech. What type of sentence it is? That is a very very important one. When we use one conjunction, we are not going to use the same conjunction in all the type. That's what you have to uh, uh, carefully you must observe. Okay? So I am busy. I am busy. I get full stop here. When there is a full stop after the sentence. That is the declarative sentence. Listen carefully, ma. When there is a declarative sentence, why we change it direct to indirect speech? After told, you have to use the that. You have to use that. That will come only in the declarative sentence. It won't come in all the types. Okay. That is, you have to be very careful. You have to remember. Okay. After told, that will come only in the assertive sentence or declarative sentence. That here I also going to be changed. I who told teacher. So this is the common. This is the neutral. So we have to use he or she. Teacher said that directly. I am busy. So what teacher told we are saying that's what we have to change the persons and uh, tense also. Okay. So one once again I want to tell when the verb is the past tense, reported speech verb also change into past tense. And second one when the sentence is in the declarative in the indirect speech after told 
we have to use that conjunction that conjunction so here i means a teacher why we change into indirect speech that i changes to he or she so i am changes to was teacher told that he or she was busy she was busy is it clear ma first clue when the verb is past tense in the reporting speech reported speech verb also going to be changed into past tense okay that is uh, important one you have to remember the first clue and second clue is second one doctor said doctor said i am going to doctor said he is busy doctor said don't smoke don't smoke doctor said don't smoke here this is what type of the sentence can you tell any one that is the an imperative very good is this a negative one or a positive one it is a negative one very good so in the imperative how we know the all the imperatives start with the verb there is no subject in the imperative sentence the sentence start with the verb okay ma and second one the sentence start with the negative also both will come under the imperative sentence so don't smoke doctor said don't smoke okay so second the one is the first one is the declarative in the declarative sentence after the, the told or after the reporting speech we have to add that conjunction in the imperative be careful in the imperative negative if it is there what we are going to write you be careful don't forget what are the clues are there then here in the place of the said what we can use actually what the doctors will say are they going to ask no so doctor doctor advised doctor advised they give advice they give suggestions they want to ask okay they are the doctors so doctor advise in place of the said i used advise when there is a negative sentence after the reporting speech we have to use not to to not to to smoke not to to smoke have you understood ma be careful first one declarative we used that second one imperative when the sentence is in in a uh, negative one after the reporting speech we used not to to not to to smoke so in the place of the said i used advised they advised doctor will give the advice okay doctor will suggest they won't ask okay so doctor advised not to smoke what another one will tell uh, teacher teacher said write neatly write neatly here teacher said write neatly have you found any difference between this and that sentence ma yes because first one is the negative one and second one is the only verb is they so in the imperative the sentence start with the verb and second one is the negative one so both will come under the imperative sentences okay so when there is a verb how will we write teacher teacher asked sometimes ordered also you can write teacher ordered so we the teachers ask you write neatly write neatly write neatly okay ma so teacher asked or again you can write the order also teacher asked to write neatly to write neatly 
to write the matri. Okay, so two I thought. Number one is the declarative. After the reporting speech, you how to use that. Why we write that? 